Today, we're going to talk about clinical pelvimetry. Mayong hapon, ma'am. Ako di ay si Shaira Tan, junior clerk. Ako di mo at ni mo karon. So, atong buhaton karon, ma'am, kay clinical pelvimetry. So, this will assess the size of the woman's pelvis, aiming to predict whether you will be able to give birth vaginally or not. Position patient in the dorsal lithotomy position. Demonstrate a sepsis during the whole procedure. Apply KY jelly. Extend the index and middle fingers and flex the ring and little fingers. Thumb should be pointing up. Separate the labia with one hand. Insert the index and middle fingers of the examining hand carefully into the vagina. The tip of the middle finger is then directed towards the sacral promontory. The examining hand is then elevated until it contacts the pubic arc and this point is marked with the index finger of the opposite hand. Measure the distance between the tip of the middle finger to the mark on the index finger as the diagonal conjugate. The obstetrical conjugate is the shortest distance between the sacral promontory and the symphysis pubis. Normally, this measures greater than 10 cm or more, but it cannot be measured directly with examining fingers. So we need to calculate the obstetrical conjugate by subtracting 1.5 to 2 cm from the diagonal conjugate. Feel for the sacral curvature. Interpret the anterior surface as hollow or flat. Determine the prominence of the ischial spine. The ischial spine is described as prominent, average, or blunt. Palpate the pelvic sidewall. This is done by holding the internal index finger against the ischial spine and palpating the ipsilateral ischial tuberosity with the thumb. This is a divergent pelvic sidewall if the tuberosity is lateral to the spine. This is the parallel pelvic sidewall if tuberosity is in line with the spine. This is a convergent pelvic sidewall if tuberosity is medial to the spine. Assessment of the pelvic inlet occurs by estimating the bituberous distance. A closed fist is then placed against the perineum between the ischial spine. This can be considered as a wide bituberous distance if the ischial tubercles are felt on the outside four side knuckles of the fisted hand. This can be considered as a narrow bituberous distance if the ischial tubercles are felt inside of the four knuckles of the fisted hand. Document and explain the findings to the patient and inform her what to expect after the procedure. Napatalain pangutan na ma'am.